outside of the USA, thousands petitioned Netflix to cancel Amazon Prime's Good Omens. More than 20,000 Christians have signed a petition. Wait, 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 wait. Before you continue, just read the title, okay? Just see yeah. what, see, see if you can see what the problem with the title is. Thousands, <laughs> thousands petition Netflix to cancel Amazon Prime's Good Omens, okay? I hope you guys, I, I hope you see what the problem with that is. Okay, but go on. <laughs> yes, so more than 20,000 Christians have signed a petition calling for the cancellation of Good Omens, the television series adopted from Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman's 1990 fantasy novel, unfortunately addressing their petition to Netflix when the series is made by Amazon Prime. They say that Good Omens is another step to make Satanism appear normal, light, and acceptable, and it mocks God's wisdom. So 20,000 20, people? 20,000. 20,000 Christians. So n none of them checked who's making the show, like they're petitioning Netflix, and the show is actually made by Amazon. And did, like, did they not... Imagine being so outraged about something that you don't even check to make sure it's true. I mean, I'm, I, you know who should be offended by this? Amazon. Because, yeah, right. <laughs> because for me, this shows that people see Netflix as the official like TV series maker, like above everything else. And Amazon, it was like, no, you should be angry with us. We're making this show. You idiots. Like, what yeah. the but this is, I mean, they look so ridiculous. It's so great, like, because of this. And also, I don't know if they understand how much promotion, free promotion they have given for this show. Like, I'm actually, I didn't know about this show. But then I heard about a show that is, that has devil worship and stuff in it. I'm going to check this out. Like, thank you. I didn't know about, did you know about this show? I didn't. I had no idea this show existed. Um... And so I was like you. I was like, well, I'm going to look into this more. So another thing, though, that has the Christians really pissed off is the voice of God on this show is played by a woman. Oh, interesting. Wait, are these yeah. people, Do we, did anybody get angry with the show Lucifer? Because they should have get, Lucifer is like the good guy in the show, isn't it? Like, wouldn't they? Yeah, Lucifer is a Netflix t thing too, right? Oh. Like someone correct me if I'm wrong. At least I'm not petitioning that I'm right. Right. Um, but yeah, so I think maybe that's, what it was so that's and that's what i wanted to see i wanted to see if maybe they thought it was a different show or something uh and looking into it further no they are they are mad at the good omens um they're mad about a woman being god ali, which is insane ali yeah. so, so palm and uh, another godless atheist they both are saying Net netflix actually replied on twitter saying that they will stop making the show <laughs> 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 that's, that's so amazing. that's a great response by good job netflix that was a pretty good response nice um let's see that's <laughs> i wish it we should find that tweet um let me see what yeah. the top comment is chris uh kristen is saying love that both are mocking this ridiculousness uh as well netflix tweet oh both of them are apparently so netflix tweeted okay we promise not to make any more amazon responded hey netflix netflix will cancel stranger stranger things if you cancel good omens <laughs> oh amazon and netflix are having fun over this so this is so this backfired on them so much they became this the joke Oh, this must, Not only that, this they've is... advertised this thing, like you were saying, they've advertised this thing that they hate and want gone, and now other people like you and I are like, hey, this sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, you got competitor companies to, you know, to f have fun with each other and like promote each other's shows, right? Like Amazon is now mentioning Stranger Things, which is another promotion. But again, this is a this is why you don't ban your haters unless they're trolling. Okay, the only people you ban. Uh, on your page on YouTube channel is that if they're just flooding the page with this nonsense that is making it difficult for other people to communicate, you ban those kind of trolls. But the people that are hating, your haters are your number one promoters, right? You should yeah. you should love the people that hate your content because they will go out and they will talk about your content for free more than anyone else, right? Haters are the best promoters. Uh, another godless atheist saying one million moms tried to get Fox to cancel Lucifer. They claimed victory. Then net then Netflix picked it up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's amazing! I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm I'm actually very happy to see so many 
uh, Bible theme shows where the demons and the devil are not the bad guy. You know, I mean, the Christians must re must really hate this. You know, you know what I want one day? I want shows based on Islamic stories, right? Right. That that would never. I don't think that would happen in my lifetime, but I'm hopeful. I mean, shows that you know a, a good story with Muhammad as the character would be one that he's not really like. Not like the shows that Muslim make that he's the best, but also not something that he's just pure evil, right? Like you right. want to make him like a character that he does some really shady bad stuff, but he's also relatable some a little bit to make it believable. Like that's the kind of show I want to see about Muhammad or Ali or Hussein or something like that. Like characters like you don't want like old kind of villains like that they just are pure evil and they do everything bad for no apparent reason. Like you want kind of something like Thanos or something because you're like, oh, I see why he did that. He's still kind of, that's kind of sort of fucked up, but I see how it got there. You know what I mean? Like that would be an amazing, that would be a show that I was so much, but no one's going to make that because that's just a death sentence, I guess. Well, you know, I do, I do want to talk about David McGaffey. Um, he helped with Haptia Press. They're publishing a comic book called The Falling Star by John Hammond. And this comic book follows the Bible as closely as possible, however, portraying the devil as a good guy. Oh, so, my God. This is what I was waiting for forever. Where can I get this? I, on Amazon. Is it comic? Yes, it's a comic book. And it looks so cool, by the way. Um, John Hammond wrote it. He's, he is both the author and the illustrator. He follows the Bible as closely as possible. Um, and, and it's called The Falling Star. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.